In this video, I will explain how to set up the CX350 for YouTube Live via USB tethering. The protocol for streaming is RTMP and the camera pushes it directly to YouTube. CX350 supports USB tethering. With that, you can stream to YouTube directly via your smartphone. The first step is configuring the network setting. CX350 supports a variety of connection types. In this video, I will show you how to set it up via USB tethering. Please watch my other videos for other connection types. Connect your smartphone to the camera via a USB cable. Open Menu, Network, Device Select, and select USB Tethering. Select Set, and then the camera will automatically reboot. Once the camera boots up, you should be able to see the USB Tethering icon at the top right of the screen. The red cross will disappear shortly. This means that the connection between the camera and the smartphone has been established. That's it, no IP address setting is needed. The next step is to set the stream destination URL. We will use the P2 network setting software. Please download the software from our PASS website. Click Software Download, then Viewer Driver Application Plugin Utility Software. From there, Download the P2 network setting software. The software is Windows only. Open the downloaded zip file. You'll find the p2netgen3.exe file. Open that. Select the streaming tab and then the RTMP tab. We will input the information into the Stream Destination URL box. The next step is to get the Stream URL and Stream Key from your YouTube channel. This will be the Streaming Destination URL. Open your YouTube channel and then click Go Live. Then you'll be able to see the needed information. Copy the stream URL and then paste it into the stream destination URL box. The important point here is that you need to add a slash at the end of the stream URL. Then copy the stream key and paste it after the slash. Then click export. The data is now saved onto the SD card in the PC. Remove the SD card from the PC and insert it into the camera. The next step is to set up RTMP streaming on the camera. Open Menu, Network, Network Function, and select Streaming. Then go to Streaming and set the streaming protocol to RTMP. You can select a streaming format from a variety of choices. In this video, I chose 1080 1 Mega BPS. Select Load SD Card. The RTMP receiver URL is loaded from the SD card to the camera. When you close the menu, you should be able to see the streaming icon at the top right of the screen. This next step is optional. 
While it's not necessary, it might be useful to assign the streaming start function to a user switch. Open menu, camera, user SW, then assign the streaming start function. In this video, I assign it to user 6, which is located on the camera's hand grip. Lastly, let's start YouTube Live via your smartphone. The left side of this screen shows the SDI out from the CX350, and the right side shows my YouTube channel. Once I push User Switch 6, where I assign the streaming start, YouTube Live starts. You can see the broadcast mark on the streaming icon. As you can see, the streaming is delayed from the SDI out, but this is to be expected. That's it, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check the other videos for CX350's different streaming capabilities.